Interim coach Yusri Chela took Kelantan FA to their third win of the season over Kita FA in the wake of Farji Ibrahim's absence. Kelantan assistant head coach Yusri Chela commended the fighting spirit of his young side after Nick Gasly alias and Daniel Ashraf Abdullah struck for a 2-1 win over Kita FA in the Malaysia Super League MSL, on Tuesday. I have to thank my players because we are really having a tough time during this Ramadan period. We still have work to do, but this was a priceless win for us to try and stay in the MSL, said Usury. The Red Warriors were without head coach Farji Ibrahim, who had abandoned the team in the wake of the 4-0 loss to Selangor FA last Friday. Farge has gone missing and is believed to have headed back to Syria, after Kalantan had paid his salary. Yusri was tasked to take charge for this game against a strong Kita side, and after weathering constant Kita pressure, turned the game on its head. Two inspired second-half substitutions saw Nick Asley and Daniel come off the bench to score in the space of four minutes to give Kalantan only their third win of the season. They are still bottom of the league, but tied on points with Negri Semblin FA. Almost all my players are from the President Cup and I know our limitations in terms of quality. But the players defied that by giving it everything. We took the only two chances we had and got the win, added Usury. I also owe a big thanks to our goalkeeper Sharazan, Ismail, who was one of the best players around. He had a knee injury two days ago, but was fired up for this match and made the difference. Sharazan was Kalan's hero after he saved Sandro da Silva's penalty in stoppage time to give Usri's Chargers the win. The 37-year-old has hardly played for Kalantan in recent seasons, only making one appearance last season. But he was deployed after Kalantan young goalkeeper Fikri Chesoh proved to be an accident waiting to happen, and is now set to keep his place in the team. Kalantan will return to the Darul Aman Stadium to play Kita again on Friday. The East Coast side have been playing their home matches on the road during the Ramadan month as their Sultan Muhammad IV Stadium is used for daily prayers during the holy month.